Hello, players and coaches. This is Doc Scholl, baseball analyst and instructor. And here is another great story where a father discovered my YouTube channel, Doc Scholl, and my Ubersense videos and sent me his video of his nine-year-old that he wanted me to take, take a look at. Now, this kid has a lot of things already sound and fundamental for his swing. So let's take a quick little breakdown of his swing. I like to start off that he's nice and relaxed at the beginning. <clears throat> and it doesn't matter the beginning, as long as you're nice and relaxed, that works great for me. When he gets to his landing position, you'll notice I've studied many, many Major League Baseball players. And some of the things I look for when I analyze hitters at all levels is what their bat angle is once they get to that low position. So here he is approximately 80 degrees at that angle. The major league average is 90. So I would really would like for him to even almost get a little bit more at a 90 degree angle, which would be approximately there. So sometimes people like to call that wrapping the bat around his head. So that's my first advice for him. Okay, the second thing I like to talk about is when he lands... He does a great job with staying behind the ball. And here again, his degrees is approximately, let's see, 66, 67 for when he lands, 68. And most players like Cano and Bryce Harper are in this range that I've studied. So that is great. I'm really pleased with where he is here. And the next part we're going to look at now is on contact. So on contact, where is he set up? And again, the major league average that I've studied is 70 degrees. And this young kid from Florida is at 67, which is players like Freddie Freeman from the Braves. But let's, we got a lot of angles and a lot of things to discuss here. But let's talk about clearly some of the things he does extremely well in his swing. So let's go back to the beginning. He's nice and relaxed when he starts up. He gets his bat in a good position. He loads up. This is one thing that I find a lot of young kids don't do. This kid actually has a load, which will lead to his weight transfer. So he loads back, and then as he makes contact, he gets great weight transfer into the ball. This is something that I find that most young hitters are not able to do. Then he creates a really nice swing plane. By driving that back shoulder in, he creates a great swing plane and something that I'm constantly looking for. And right here you notice his swing plane is right exactly where I want his bat to be. And finally, how he gets great extension through the ball. So many things he does right here. There are a couple of other things that I'd like to show you to wrap this video up on slight little concerns that I'd like this kid to work on. Let me draw an arrow here. And you notice how his feet are lined up. When he takes his first step, his first step comes slightly in. I like him to work on trying to keep uh, a, a, an easier step stride towards the pitcher instead of closing up his hips. That would be my one suggestion. The other thing I want you to notice is how, again, many young kids do this. They have that heel come down and slightly open. His is not so terrible, but he slightly opens up that front heel which releases the hips a little bit. So these are just small little things that he's got to work on, but overall, I'm very impressed with this kid's swing for such a young kid, nine years old from Florida. If you like my video, post a comment or send me an email at doc2323 at gmail.com or check out my YouTube video on, on labeled Doc Scholl. Thank you very much.